On September 17, 2015, a 14-year-old Dallas student named Ahmed Mohammed reassembled the parts of a digital clock inside an 8-inch pencil container and brought it to school to show his teacher. She thought it was a bomb. The police were called and Ahmed was arrested. And while no charges were filed, Ahmed was suspended from school for causing a bomb scare. There was much talk of racial profiling, Ahmed of course is Muslim, and his story quickly went viral. Support for Ahmed flooded in by the thousands. Ahmed is innovative, curious, bright minds like yours who move humanity forward. You are our future. Keep inventing. Hashtag I stand with Ahmed. Hey Ahmed, we're saving a seat for you at this weekend's Google Science Fair. Want to come? Bring your clock. Hashtag I stand with Ahmed. Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America great. Breaking. The British appear to have developed some sort of giant bomb, possibly attached to a rocket. Ahmed was wearing a NASA t-shirt that day, and it didn't go unnoticed by the people who worked there. Looks like Ahmed might need a new NASA shirt. I can give him one of mine. That flew in space. Hashtag, I stand with Ahmed. But possibly the most heartfelt response to Ahmed was a letter posted on the Facebook page of actor and civil rights activist George Takei, otherwise known as Sulu from Star Trek. Dear Ahmed, I've never met you, and it's quite possible you've never heard of me. But my name is George Takei. I'm many decades older than you, but your story and your experience when you were arrested at your school simply because you brought in a clock for your teacher struck a chord with me. You see, when I was a bit younger than you, I was also viewed by others as the enemy and treated as such simply because I happened to look like the people who had attacked America. Like you, I was just a kid trying to find his place in the world. I loved my country and looked forward to all the opportunities and challenges ahead. But my childhood was interrupted by fear and ignorance. When the authorities came for you because they believed you had built a bomb, I was reminded in a way of when the army came for us. They ordered us out of our home, believing we were suspicious people because of our names, our faces, our ancestry. I spent my childhood in an internment camp because of that fear and ignorance. But I want you to know, while America may have done a terrible thing to me and my family and to 120,000 other Japanese Americans, I have great hope for this country, and I believe we do learn. There was a Japanese word we often said in the camps, gaman. It means to keep on keeping on, with dignity and fortitude. I think you understand this word already. While certain school officials and police officers may have shown you the worst side of our nation, I understand many others have since shown you the best side. I was touched to hear you say that we all have to be true to ourselves. Ahmed, you are now part of the story of America, and many will learn from your fine example. I see great things ahead for you. Yours sincerely, George Takei. Astronaut Daniel Tanney agrees. The government imprisoned my parents for having Japanese parents. The same government chose me to fly in space. Change can happen. 